My name is Abraham Duplessis. Uh, I'm a veterinarian from South Africa. Uh, I grew up in Africa on a dairy farm and I've worked in the dairy industry in the U.S. for the past uh, 26 years. So today we're in uh, Northern California on a dairy farm uh, near Escalon, a little bit larger than average with approximately 5,000 cows milking. The cows here are housed in uh, freestall barns. Uh, this is typically what you would find in California. So I think to survive, every dairy farm has to get better at everything that they do. Become more efficient, we have to reduce costs and we have to increase production. The level of milk production on the farm gets influenced directly by the dry matter intake of the cows, the amount of feed that they eat. I get on dairy farms every single day of my life where I walk around and I notice that the feed is not bladed up and the cows cannot reach the feed to eat. So we have to go and push the feed closer to her so that she can actually reach it. And this is a process that has to re be repeated uh, 12 to 18 times per day. Higher dry matter intake is going to lead to a higher milk production and higher profits. Today we bladed feed non-autonomously. We bladed feed just like a normal diesel tractor. The tractor had absolutely no difficulty in blading the feed closer, just using the electric power of the tractor. It was also nice for me to see how quiet the tractor operates. You know, the cows were not at all bothered by the operation of the tractor. With the Monarch tractor, with cameras on the tractor, in real time we'd be able to go into the portal and look and see what the bunks look like. And I think that's going to help a lot of owners and managers with their bunk management. The Monarch tractor is going to be a tool that's going to improve the profitability of every dairy farm in a big way.